Welcome inside Shot Callers Esports, Eric Kummel here with Mark Horner and a guy who's been in headlines a lot lately is Mr. Selfie. He announced his free agency after he had been signed to Cloud9. People were really expecting him to be on that Academy roster. And then they announced a fantastic announced video, by the way, Cloud9. <laughs> but it looked like it looks like Golden Glue was gonna be in that mid lane, and obviously now Selfie a free agent. And the question is, why? Why did Cloud9 not sign with him? He just constantly seems to be getting the short end of the stick with a lot of the teams that he's been on. This guy just doesn't seem to be able to pick the right team to be his partner, right? This isn't working well for Selfie, and it's very unfortunate because this guy has a lot of skill and probably more skill than Golden Boy to be, you know, precise here. The Vault Boy yep. hasn't really shown me too much, and especially when you're talking about Cloud9, right? Who is going to be replacing Jensen in the mid lane if you're ever going to be doing that, subbing him out, any of these type of things? Golden Boy? I don't really no. think that that's the right choice there. Selfie would have been the guy that I would have liked to have seen there. I thought there's a lot more upside. I don't know exactly what Cloud9's thinking here was. Possibly, you know, NA resident Golden Boy? Is that all you're trying to do there? But that still doesn't quite solve the problems of why. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out what the positives are of getting rid of Selfie. I mean, if you're looking at grooming talent, I think you pretty much know what you're gonna get with Golden Glue. He's been on a bunch of different LCS teams. He's played a lot of games on there. Yeah, he's kind of been on lower end teams, so he hasn't really had that commodity. But I mean, he, I think you know what you're gonna get out of him. Selfie's a guy who has shown really brilliance, and I think he still has a higher ceiling that he hasn't reached yet. So grooming him on that roster seems like a pretty solid idea for Cloud9. And even if they're never gonna bring him to their starting roster, which as long as Jensen's there, he's not. He's gonna be on that academy squad. But maybe after a split or two, other teams see how great Selfie's performing and maybe they feel like he's worth an import slot and they'll just start throwing money at you. So I, I don't see any teams doing that for Golden Glue. So I'm not really sure why Cloud9 got rid yeah, of Selfie. I think you really hit it on the head there. I can't explain what the decision making here is because Selfie does have that higher potential than Golden Glue. We know exactly what Golden Glue is. We've seen him enough times in LCS action He's gone away to Korea to do his big boot camp where he got the masters and everything else. And he still comes back and doesn't have the performance that you need to have on the LCS stage, especially when you're talking about the mid laner position. You know, you're seeing Golden Glue go up against Bjergsen and that's not a good matchup whatsoever. <laughs> and I'm not saying that necessarily Selfie would be either, but I'd be a lot more comfortable seeing that matchup and believing in the potential of Selfie to maybe improve and build off of it than say what we've seen maybe, you know, the seventh or eighth time that Golden Glue gets spanked by Bjergsen. <laughs> and, and I mean, now for Selfie, he's in a super tough spot where basically all the teams have filled out their roster. He, like, it's, I don't see him finding a team for spring 2018 just because they've all been filled out, which means he's probably taking a split off. He said he's going to be practicing and streaming, getting right back into the grind there. But I, I really hope we see him on an LCS squad, whether it's EU or NA. He's definitely deserving of a starting spot. I hope we see him in summer. It's definitely a very unfortunate situation for him, but you're right. He has far too much talent to be left off of the LCS stage, whether it's in NA or in EU. This is somebody that we need to see performing at the highest level. And uh, now he has had, as I said before, a lot of, you know, he's had some bad luck on a lot of these teams where, you know, he was on Misfits Academy and then they qualify at the LCS. He gets replaced by Power of Evil, which... I get he's a fantastic talent, but I still would have liked to see Selfie be on that squad going forward. Obviously, you had that whole MYM fiasco a couple years ago. So maybe people are thinking, well, maybe he's got an attitude problem. Maybe he's toxic. But I mean, pretty much anyone that's worked with him. You, uh, I mean, LS released a video uh, recently about he's coached him on a couple of different teams. And he said he's, he's a hard worker, great teammate. There's really no negative attitude about his work style or anything about that. So it's, that's not the issue. Right, well, when you're in these type of situations and you're constantly in these type of situations, people start to ask questions and come up with these ideas and that's where you get these rumors about possibly being an attitude issue or you know something not meshing. But we've had that disproven by people that have come out and backed him up and said, no, this guy is good and this guy hasn't been an issue in the team house or anything like that. So that's where it begs the question of why is he not being played over someone else? And it's really a question that we can't answer ourselves. And it's one that doesn't make a lot of sense because this guy has the talent, he has the skill, and this is someone that should be there. 
Yeah, the only thing I could maybe say is maybe Golden Glue brings more fans, but you're not bringing fans to an academy team and an organization like Cloud9, they do not need to no, almost you, sell out to get more fans. Cloud9 is a great organization in their own right. They've got outstanding merchandise compared to almost every other LCS great team. Great logo. They've got lots of things going for them. They've got sneakies, great made streams. Who knows what you got there with Cloud9. They have a lot of things going for them. And I think that having, you know, Selfie on the team would have been a great addition to them. And I don't know why Golden Blues, Golden Boy, excuse me, is there. Yeah, and for now, it's, again, it's hard-pressed to see Selfie making a roster in 2018 because they're all filled out. But uh, hopefully we see him in the future because, again, he's a very talented player and he deserves a starting spot. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.